Yuri Slavkovsky's start to his career has been absolutely brutal. Through his first 39 games in his career, he has four goals, six assists, 10 points, and is a minus 13. Now you compare that to Alexi Lafreniere, who pretty much had one of the worst starts of any first overall pick ever. He got six goals, six assists, 12 points in his first 39 games, two points more than Slavkovsky. And this season has just continued to spiral for Slavkovsky. He's gotten a few chances in that top six, but has been mostly on that fourth line, bottom six, and not really given much of a chance. And when you're a first overall pick and getting four flying minutes, 10 minutes a night, it really limits what you're able to do. But the Habs mismanagement of Slavkovsky continued to come. By the time the World Juniors rolled around, the Habs promised that they would keep Slavkovsky on the roster, but give him time to develop and give him a lot more opportunity. But as Slovakia was doing amazing things, Slavkovsky was stagnating at the NHL level, continuing to get around 10 minutes per night and just not getting those offensive looks and the teammates around him to to really justify having him there. And he could have been down there absolutely dominating, maybe being one of the best players of the tournament, but instead he's getting a few minutes per night with the Habs and really not progressing all that much. Fast forward to this last week and Slavkowski starts to get a little bit better, getting a lot more looks and a couple of really good saves with Igor Shosturkin absolutely robbing him on this chance with Slavkowski not able to get the puck up. But the absolutely brutal season for Slavkowski continued in the game for the Rangers, not only did Igor Shosturkin absolutely rob him, he also got injured later in the game here, got roughed around a little bit here along the boards, and ended up going back to the bench a little bit lackadaisically and looking quite a bit hurt. And then official news came from the Montreal Canadiens Twitter talking about medical updates saying that Yol Armia, Jake Evans, and Yuri Slavkowski have been placed on injured reserve. And right as Slavkovsky is starting to play a little bit better, getting a little bit more chances per game and starting to show a lot more speed, the door gets shut and Slavkovsky is on to the injured reserve. And the article as well says that all three players will be sidelined indefinitely and evaluated more thoroughly in the coming days. So likely with Slavkovsky, maybe he's out a couple of weeks, but it's still a really big part of Slavkovsky's season that hasn't gone all too well either. That progression was starting to come and then the hockey gods said no. But this might be one of the worst rookie seasons of any first overall pick ever, with Slavkowski not getting enough time, not producing any chances, not really doing anything with the time he's given, and right as he starts to do a little bit with it, the injury comes and the injury bug bites him again, and it's just sad to see. He absolutely should have been at the World Juniors. That might be the biggest mistake that this current Habs management has made was not sending him there, because they did absolutely nothing with having him on the NHL roster. Just imagine if he got his confidence back up at the World Juniors, came back, got a little bit more time, continued to progress. He might have gotten injured still, but the World Juniors would have been there, the confidence still would have been there, and Slavkowski would have been in a much better position. Personally, I still think Slavkowski is going to be a great NHL player, and time will tell, but this rookie season has been a complete 110% disaster. But that'll be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this breakdown. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos just like this. Of course, comment down below what your thoughts are on Slavkovsky's rookie season. Has it been a huge disaster? Is it better than what we're talking about here? And how do you think Slavkovsky will do for the rest of his NHL career? Let us know all your thoughts down below. Share the video with all the Habs and hockey fans you guys know online. And I'll see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.